Hello and welcome to another video of our channel. In this video, we are demonstrating on how to clone a hard drive. Before we begin, a brief description will provide more clear understanding on the importance of data and why everyone is progressing toward its protection. People are concerned about the availability and reliability and on what needs to be done and just how important it is to do this. Data is critical and losing it means no business. Companies spend billions of dollars to protect data, to back it up, to make it redundant and to protect it from disasters. On the other hand, solid state drives have become extremely popular due to their speed, reliability and faster read write speed. More and more people are switching from their Victorian hard disk drives to this era's solid state drives. And at the same time, where data is of critical importance, many of us would like to back them all up on an external hard disk and put it in a safe place. Whether it is migration from hard disk drive to solid state drive, hard disk drive to another hard disk drive, or a backup of your hard disk drive. Cloning is my preferred method because it, because it eliminates the need to reinstall programs and simply replacing it will bring about the same results as if nothing was ever happened. When you clone a disk, you create an exact copy of it. This means that whatever is there on the disk now will be there on the clone drive so there will be no need to reinstall anything. Just plug and play. Cloning is copying the source drive exactly as it is, including the disk drivers hidden files, hidden folders and operating system files and even the settings you saved. You can think of it as a perfect and identical copy of the existing one. Once cloning is complete, all you need to do is to replace the hard drive. In order to get started, you will need to make sure that you have access to your source drive. The new drive clone will be made of it. There are numerous tools out there, but for the sake of this video, we will be using a free one that has never given up on me and it's called Macrium Reflect. The link is given in the video's description. Let's open the link here and click on Home Use and click on Continue. This will download this package here. Click on Save and let the package download. Now that we know that what we need, there are just another factor that needs to be considered before launching the process and that is to have a rescue USB, CD or DVD in hand in case something goes wrong. This can be achieved during the cloning process by simply inserting a USB or a rewrite able DVD. The next part are the connections. On desktop, you can add the drive as secondary and change boot order from the BIOS. On a laptop, you will need a connector to connect the drive temporarily and later after the cloning is complete, you can replace the drive to keep it safe. I would want to mess less with opening and playing with hardware on the desktop and laptop so I would get a connector to avoid connecting directly. For the purpose of cloning, I'd recommend the connector, give, the link is given in the video's description. Let me open the link here. So this connector, it works on desktop and laptops too. Another point to note is that your destination disk should be at least 30% larger than the source. If your C drive was 250GB then you should not attempt to make a clone of it on anything less than 325GB. So once the file is downloaded click on run. We minimize this page. We will be installing a free package. Let's click on download. Okay, still working on. Okay, so let's wait one more time to download it, to let it download the complete package. 
okay so once uh, it installs the it downloads the installer it will give up this wizard let's say next so it will install the package on our computer wizard is pretty much straightforward so we don't need to elaborate um, every single step just follow the wizard okay let's launch it so here's the interface of uh, Macrium reflect okay so after installation so after you launch the software it might uh, prompt you to create a rescue media if not it's uh, important and it's recommended to create a rescue media and for that you need to have either a writable DVD or a USB so if you are not prompted with a prompt to create a rescue media just click on this icon and this will bring up a page telling you what to create so um, whatever you have inserted uh, just select the appropriate option and then click on build to make a rescue a USB or a DVD drive yeah uh, you can continue with instructions on the screen and it, it tells you that it is going to download 400 MB files from Microsoft Microsoft proceed with it and click on yes and wait uh, wait for it to finish the download now let's come to cloning part assuming that uh, you will have the new SSD or HDD connected by the connector or internally we will now begin the cloning process inside the dashboard of Macrium reflect select the first drive and then click on clone this disk on the next screen um, you will see the source which you have selected and from here you can have you can select the new disk here um, for the cloning process so once you have selected the disk make sure to select perform intelligent sector copy click ok before going ahead with the cloning process you will be given the summary if presented with a warning that the drive will be overwritten click on continue please note there is no margin of error here um, be very cautious in your selections if it all goes well you will have a clone copy of your existing hard drive in just few minutes once this is done you are set if something goes wrong when you boot from your new hard disk you will need to use the recovery media you created to solve errors it is common for errors to come up because some features are tied to hard hardware and use their IDs to perform or execute tasks. This is where the rescue media will come handy. All you have to do is boot your PC using the recovery media and Macrium Reflect tool will be launched automatically. From there you can click on fix windows boot problems to fix all the boot related issues automatically. Before booting you will need to change boot order to make your clone disk the first drive from BIOS. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.